when I first started streaming, it was not easy getting everyone on the screen live. Oh my God, my game is glitching something fierce. And now, just a few clicks and you're in. Twitch made it easy to instantly collab with other streamers. I'm Chelsea Bites and I'm gonna show you how drop-ins work. Drop-ins let you instantly connect with other streamers, no planning required. It's a fast way to make content with your friends. While streaming, check your friends page. If they're available, a collab icon will appear, allowing you to knock on their door. The other streamer will get a private notification. If they accept, they can let you in and <laughs> boom, you're streaming together. Copy and paste your stream together browser source link into a scene and you're ready to go. Remember, you're in control. You decide who knocks. Set it to all streamers, affiliates, partners, or just your favorites. Knocks are private. Your viewers won't see them unless you accept. You can pause drop-ins if you don't want interruptions during a stream. You can also prepare ahead of time to make sure your first drop-in goes smoothly. Let me show you how. Set up your browser source by visiting the Stream Together landing page and copying the browser source URL. You only have to set up a browser source on a scene once. Then just switch to that scene when you start collaborating with someone. If you haven't prepared, that's fine too. It's easy to do while you're live. In your first call, hit the camera button to set up your camera and it will prompt you to also set up the browser source. You can also find the browser source URL anytime in Stream Together settings. Make sure not to share your browser sources publicly. It's private and unique to your channel. If others are planning to stream the call on their channel, they will have to set up their own browser source, which is also available in their call settings. Can't use your camera in more than one place? To work around this, you can use OBS or Streamlabs virtual cam. Look on the right side of your OBS tools for start virtual camera. This appears under the button to start streaming. Next to the virtual cam button is the settings icon. Click the settings and choose source from the drop down. Then select your video capture device. This will also make it so the virtual cam duplicates your webcam if you weren't clear on how it works. Then click start virtual cam. Go back to stream together and under the camera drop down select OBS virtual camera and your camera will show. You only have to change your virtual cam settings once. On future sessions, you just have to press start virtual camera. You stream together to go full multiplayer mode with your friends and share your squad live. Host your own talk show and put your chat in the hot seat. Drop-ins add a little spice to your content. Check it out and let me know how it goes.